Hello everyone. In this video I'll be showing you how you can use web service, how you can consume web service and how you can go about it. You must have heard of web services, you know. You know, uh, the the competitors of uh, ASP.NET is say JSP and uh, PHP and lots of other technologies around the mar in, the in the market. But what makes ASP.NET different from PHP and JSP? That is just one thing and that is web service. You know, web services has made it you know different it has overshadowed other technologies that are there in the market so in this video i'm just going to be showing you how you can use how you can call how you can create a web service and how to use that in your in your application okay so uh, what i'm going to do is that uh, i'm just going to click on add and say add new item and the web service is right here i can just uh, have a name for it and it is having an extension as asmx okay well uh, instead of creating one I have already created one web service for you okay and uh, it's right here just going to use this push me to get rid of this I need to switch over to the code view because there is no design time there is no design time for a web service okay there is coding actually well there is uh, there is some design time but there is actually more uh, deals with the coding anyway so this is the the page this is the code behind that we get and as you can see if you s see closely it's already having one method okay all we need to do is just uncomment this and we can run our uh, uh, you know hello world uh, example okay so i'm just going to use this button to uncomment the selected lines okay there you go and i'm just going to save this and i'm just going to run this I'm just going to go to the file menu and view this one in browser and I'll show you what exactly I mean by that. Okay. See, this is one method. This is one web, web method. Okay. And as soon as I click on this one, it's going to bring me this form where I can click on this invoke button. And as you can see, the, the, uh, the other codes is, you know, and, and all the other codes right here, everything is like, you know, uh, it's going on in the background and everything is done for you by the dotnet framework so I'm just going to quickly click on this invoke button and let's see what I get as you can see I'm getting this hello world okay you know this is what we wrote in in our uh, in our form here and this is what we are getting this is a function and and the function is returning this value hello world right here okay so I'm just gonna show you another uh, a practical example for example adding two numbers and returning the total of that okay so uh, I'm just gonna close this one and uh, I have actually added one uh, okay I'm just gonna quickly paste this one okay instead of uh, you uh, watching me type the whole thing I've already written that for you okay this is one mem web method what it does is okay this is the tag that we need to write before writing any function okay this indicates that yes this is a web method okay this is the function name and it accepts two parameters a and b okay and this one is returning integer so we need to specify as integer because this function returns it accepts two integers and returns an integer okay we have declared a variable integer type of integer data type and we are just adding two values that it is uh, getting that is a and b and we are assigning it to another variable that we have declared just here and we are returning c that's as simple as that okay so we are going to save this uh, this is the new method which we just included in our web service I'm just gonna save it and go to the file menu and view this one in browser and let's see what we get this time okay apart from the hello world we should also get this add num function that we just created so I'm just gonna click on this one and see this text box and everything is created for you by by the dotnet framework so I'm just going uh, to uh, pass a value say 2 and uh, 5 invoke which means it, it should call that function and let's see what we get we should get 7 now see this this is the value that we get this one is adding two numbers and returning this but of course you know as you as you can see we don't want the the results to appear here what if we want to have uh, values returning 
in our normal regular ESPX form. How do we do that? How do we call this in our regular ESPX form? How, how do we go about all that? I will show that to you in my next video. So, so keep watching my next video and I will show you exactly how it is done. Thank you for watching this one. My name is Aftab.